Hey everyone, my name is Brittany. Welcome to today's upper body burnout. Today you're going to need a smaller weight, so anywhere from 3 to 8 pounds, and then a heavier weight anywhere from 8 to 15 pounds, depending on how much strength training you've done in the past. We're going to be starting with a clean and double press. So you're going to need your heavier weight. What this is going to look like, you need it in one hand. Back hand is coming back. Back up so you can see me. So you're going to squat down. If you want to get really low, you can tap the ground. Make sure, remember, you're always doing that hip hinge to bring your butt back first. You're going to tap the ground, power up to your shoulder, and then press. Now, if you want to do the double press, you're going to come up to your shoulder, press twice. So we're going to switch sides. We're going to do each side twice. All right, grab your heavier weight. If you're really strong, you do a lot of weightlifting, you can do a 15. I'm doing a 10 today. All right, here we go. Lower down. Do that squat. Up to a press. And up. Repeat. So 40 seconds on. And then we'll have 15 seconds off. Core is tight. Now for any shoulder press motion, if you have some shoulder issues or you just feel a pinch or you're still getting warmed up, you can always turn your hand to face your head and press this way. You can try it, play with it, feels a little different. All right, so you have 15 seconds off, we're gonna switch sides. Same thing, other side. This side might feel a little different. Hand can come out behind you. Here we go, lower it down. Go. Hit that double press if you want to. Totally optional. Hip hinge as you're squatting down, butt pushes back, you're sitting in a chair. Make sure your core is super tight. Think about that transverse abdominis, your seat belt down here, being super tight, especially as you're standing and bring that weight over your head. Almost there. Switch sides. So what I'm talking about is you wanna make sure your lower belly is nice and tight, and as you're lifting your weight over your head, you're not hinging your hips forward and creating a curve in your lower back. You wanna keep neutral spine. All right, last time on this side with the clean and press. Double it up. Close to your body. 
Good, let's switch inside. You should be feeling warm by now. So we're getting a lot of multi-planar movement in right here. To start us off with, make sure our body is warm. Get multiple joints moving at once. Other side. Tummy is tight. As you're coming down, make sure that back is still staying flat. You're not curving to tap down. If you feel yourself starting to get fatigued, don't go as low. You don't have to tap the ground. All right, 15 off, other side. These are the only two moves that we're repeating four times because they are single-handed. So after this one, it'll be two times for each move. All right. Back to your first side. Last one, let's do it. Think about where you're going next. 
and to avoid using momentum to just swing that arm through. We're gonna pause in the down. Make this motion intentional. Back is flat, head is in line with your spine. Quick break, same thing. Woo, we got some sweat going on already. All right, here we go. Light knees, hinge back in your hips.
Good. Shoulder rolls. We're going to go down into a plank next. Elbow plank, pushing back into dolphins. So your head is going to come between your shoulders. Your butt's going to go up into the air. All right. So you can do this move two ways. You can use your core to pull your butt up into the air, or you can use your shoulders to push yourself. I want you to kind of have a mix of both. Help use your shoulders to push yourself up right now in this upper body workout. Good, quick break. You can drop to your knees. Lots of shoulder rolls today. Bringing them back, focusing on those shoulders and that back coming down. So many of us are forward. Let's bring those arms back. All right. Round two of dolphins.
You're gonna keep your heavy weights. Have your light weights handy, so if you have to drop down, that's fine, but I'm here to push you, so I want you to try this with your heavy weights. You're gonna start with a bicep curl to a push. That push is gonna be hard with your heavy weights. Make it quick. It's almost like a punch, but in control. If you feel your back swing, you can't hold your back in a neutral position, grab your lighter weights. Curl it up. Big exhale as you push out. You're doing great. My arms are feeling it. Woo! 10 seconds. We're almost done, you guys. All right. Let those biceps hang out here. You can even roll your shoulders back and kind of hold it. Let them stretch out. A couple shoulder rolls. We got one more round of that. Think about if you want to drop down to your lighter weights. Or if you want to do at least half of this one with your heavy. Push yourself. Here we go. Curl up. Push. Thirty seconds. Or sorry, fifteen seconds off after this one. All right, I hit my max. I'm gonna go down to my lighter weights for the rest of this. Those shoulder pushes were getting me. Make sure you're not using momentum. You're not just swinging them up. Curl, push, back, down. All right, you guys. So we're actually at the end of our double rotations. In 10 seconds, we're gonna start with punches. You're gonna need your lighter weights. We're gonna have three sets that we're gonna go straight through. No breaks unless you really wanna take one. So, lighter weights, boxer stance, punching across. Now, if you have diastasis, you have a pretty sizable gap or you don't feel like you have the core strength to do twisting motions yet, just punch straight forward. Keep going with those wonderful punches we were just doing. If you feel confident, in your core strength, you've checked your diastasis, punch it across. Engage your core, tighten up that TAC belt, punch it across. When you hear the ding, you're gonna keep going right through it. Keep going with this, I'm gonna show you what we're doing next. When you hear the ding, you're gonna bring your hands down. Think about flutter kicks that we do on our backs with our feet. You're gonna flutter with your arms up into a 45 degree raise and then back down. Come join me. If you have to drop your weights, it's okay. See how long you can keep them. Flutter kicks with your arms. Now I want you, like I said, at a 45. I'm not going out to the side. That can be hard on your shoulder. We've done enough in the front. 45 degree flutter kicks. Drop your weights when you need to. Be honest with yourself. Push it, but don't hurt it. You're gonna keep going right through the ding. Woo! Keep going, I'm gonna show you what we're doing next. Last one, just like scissor kicks on the floor. You're gonna bring those hands up. Now, if you wanna drop your weights for this next one, you can. But you're gonna go side to side, just like scissor, scissor kicks on the floor. I'm dropping my weights down. If you drop your weight, clench your fists, engage those arms. You can still keep them active. Core is tight, even though you have no weights in your hands. Breathe. When you hear the ding, you are done. Where are your shoulders right now, though? Do you feel them creeping up towards your head? Keep them down, down and back. Breathe. Three, two, one. Sink it down. Great job. Shake it out. You're gonna hear this next thing. You can ignore that. We are actually done. Woo! Some arm circles. Let's bring one arm across your chest for a nice stretch. Other side, shoulders should feel bright. 
Great job today with our upper body burnout. I hope you feel stronger. Go look in the mirror, go look at your muscles because you are strong and you are beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to see more. Hit the ring bell so you know anytime we launch a video. Leave a comment, like this video, and we'll see you next time.